Hey guys, it's Gay Gay. Welcome back to my channel. This is today's look. It's my birthday beat. So if you're interested in how I did this look, just stay tuned and watch the video. As always, I thank you for liking and subscribing. I hope you enjoy. Hit like and subscribe. Okay guys, excuse the noise, the air condition, but it's my birthday. It's my birthday. We're going to party like it's my birthday and drink Bacardi like it's my birthday. All right. So I've already put on my primer. I've already did, well, I'm doing my brows. LA Girl Pro Concealer. A uh, little on the back of my hand, flathead brush. And we're going to do this birthday beat. Mm, this birthday beat. Mm, 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 mm. 53. <laughs> hey, it's me. <laughs> 53. They say 50 is the new 30. They lied. No, ma'am, it's not. I didn't have these kind of aches and pains when I was 30. So that was a lie, but you know, it was a nice, nice gesture, nice gesture, but for all you that hadn't made it yet, it's a lie. Okay, so we're finishing up these browns today, and they're a little darker than what I had intended, but child, I've been trying to do this look for the last two hours. I tell you, it's my birthday, and my parents, and family, and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that they even care. So, baby, interrupt me all day long. Please. Because it's my birthday. It's my birthday. I'm going to party like it's my birthday. And drink Bacardi. Well, drink this herbal tea, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Okay, so what we're doing right now, what we're doing right now, is we're taking this green right here, this lime green, and we're going to go, and we're just going to place this on the crease and buff the edges out with this color. Going back into the James Charles palette, into that black, and I want to deepen up the crease. So that's what I'm doing. I'm placing this color, and then I'm going to go back in and blend I'm not sure if I'm going to do a cut crease. I, 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 I don't know. We are going to go in with a cut crease, little LA Girl Pro Concealer, back of the hand, and we're going to go in and do this cut. Tell me how can you stop the sun from shining in him? Me live again. Somebody, please, la 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 I don't have no copyrights, no song. I am just a fan of Al Green's music, Pastor Green's music, and uh, that's all. Don't sue me, because you'll be mad. I ain't got nobody money. La, 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 Okay, so I am going into the Tribe palette, and I'm taking this color here, and I'm placing that in my inner corner Ooh, baby. Yes, ma'am, Juvia. <laughs> Can't nobody do it like Juvia. Can't nobody do it like Juvia. And if I had wet this brush, oh, you'd have to slap me. I'm going back into the Juvia's Place palette and I am going into the Zulu. Shoko! And I'm going to take this green and I'm just going to place a little right here. Just to transition from that light to that dark. Just barely. 
going back into the James Charles palette and I'm dipping in this black and I am just going to place that on my outer and I'm working everything in together forever amen And just going back into the James Charles palette with this black and I am outlining my cut because I want that to be a little deeper. I want that I want that black to be. I want that black place there. In other words, yeah. Yeah, I know sometimes that ebonics mix mixed in with that proper English and you know <laughs> you'll never know what you'll get okay so this right here is a little patch it just will not it just will not buff out I don't I don't know what that is I don't know why it's doing that because this side is is just blended perfectly anyway so we're tapping back into the black and I'm just going, I'm going to place liner, but I'm just going to place a little bit right there. I hate when it's, ugh. I don't use filters or anything on my, you know, camera. So, you know, what you see, you see open pores, imperfections, whatever. You just see good makeup work in the real. 100. So we're going in with a little pretty vulgar ink. And I'm going to, I just use my Hank and Henry liner. I've used this liner up, but I like the tip. Put a little on the back of my hand, the Pretty Vulgar's Ink liner. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite liners, I tell you the truth. And I'm just going to use this as my pencil. Oh, my little neighbor is at home. I thought little Miho went to school today. He needs to take a little that ass adorable to school. self. It's too noisy. Too noisy. Okay, so yeah, we're just doing liner. Hey guys, so one of my birthday gifts was the YSL Foundation. My one of my little kiddos got me. And it is BD70. I'm in warm mocha. So, and it's 0 0.84 fluid ounces. So, let's check this out and see what's going on. Hopefully, it will do something for this mature skin. Oh, my God. Okay, so I put a little on the back of my hand. I'm just going in with my beauty blender, tapping it. And let's see. Oh, that's a perfect color. <laughs> oh, yeah. Talk to me. Oh, let's just, and it's supposed to be full coverage. So let's, let's just see, man. I need a good foundation. I kid you not. I have a lot of good foundations, but they're not necessarily the greatest for my skin because I, oh, I'm 53. And so, you know, it's a difference. I wish they would make a foundation that like would just be able to just fill in every pore on your face and every wrinkle and it wouldn't show up in the wrinkles or any I need somebody to work on that. You know, you have mature people out here that wear makeup. We were young too when we wore makeup and then we got older and we still wear makeup. Um, we want some products. I'm going to need a company to start working on some foundations that's targeted for the older woman, too. Because our needs are a little different. Skincare needs are a little different. Foundation needs are a little different. We need that full coverage. Well, some people like full coverage. Some people don't. Some older people don't. I'm one that do. I have a lot of molds and freckles and spots acne spots so i want something to cover okay that's not bad now i need to go in with another layer i can tell and i'm just gonna take it on my on the places that i need not all over
Okay, so this is what the foundation is looking like so far. Like I said, I don't use filters, guys. So yeah, this is uh, keeping it 100. Uh, I'm a woman of, I'm 53 years old, so you see the open pores, you see the moles, you can't see the freckles once it's covered, but you see the imperfections, you see the creasing and everything. I mean, nothing a foundation can do for that, but anyway, this is the foundation. It's 24 hours, which, I mean, this is not a new foundation, so y'all already know about it. But for those who don't and may be interested, and I'm just using the LA Girl Pro Concealer right now to uh, highlight and conceal with. And it is a lighter shade than what I usually use. But I'm going to um, use a... I'm going to mix these two together. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Let's do it in the morning. Sweet dreams in the summertime. Your sweet face all laid up next to mine. Okay, so we are just concealing, concealing, Lord, contouring. And I wanted this is the Juvia's Place, not this one. I'm going this one. And I take a deeper color to contour with, but then I like to go in. Lately, I've been like. I've liked to go in liking, ooh, lately I've liked to go in and place that more warmer color with it. Yeah. When you blend, 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 it's your makeup's best friend. Blend, 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 it's your makeup's best friend. You blend, blend, blend at your makeup's best friend. Going into the Juvia's Place. What is this? Zulu. And I'm going to start working under the eyes. Alrighty, so we're going to go back into the Tri Palette and we're going to take this color right here and place it right in the inner corner. How is that looking? Okay, yeah, just give it a little brightening. Just going in with some bronzing and I'm going to contour with this color and I'm going to try to keep it predominantly right here at this upper cheek so it can give me a lifted look and just bronze and that foundation is not bad. Uh, I mean, it's no worse than that Marc Jacobs and that Becca. Oh my God, those were horrible for me. Becca's not horrible, but it's not my favorite that I reach for. And the Marc Jacobs, that turns ashy white on me for some reason. I still hadn't figured out. I've tried different prom uh, primers and everything, and it's still just, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to try it again, though, just to see. I may try it without a primer. Just I just want to see what could possibly. That has never happened to me since back in the day when we didn't really have foundations for our skin type, women of color, and we had to go, we had to use just whatever, and they would turn a little ashy, and we had to work with that. But I don't know what's going on with that Marc Jacobs and my skin. Anyway, um, yeah. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a nude lip with this. Okay, guys, and this is the completed look. My green birthday beat. And I just threw on a bed jacket. As far as the foundation, the YSL foundation, um, it's not bad at all. I'm not having a problem with it. Right now, I love the way that it's sitting on my skin. Um, 
I'm not going to do a six or eight hour wear of this foundation, so I won't know how it holds up until I wear it at another time. But for right now, um, it's definitely not doing any worse than any of my other foundations, considering I'm a woman of a particular age and my, have, my concerns are creasing and it getting in my wrinkles and all that. So all my foundations do that. So, but as far as this foundation right now, um, it said full coverage. I felt like I had to build it up quite a bit to get it to the coverage that I like. But other than that, it's not bad. The per the color was perfect. I mean, it was spot on. It was just like my Lancome, just awesome. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit like and subscribe.